What's going on guys? Welcome to my classroom, Step In. Now in today's video, we're gonna be focusing on task four, which is another integrated speaking question. Before I show you the reading passage, I want you guys to look at the whiteboard, make the same note-taking diagram on your pieces of paper. If you take notes like this, your notes are gonna be neat, they're gonna be organized, and they're gonna be easy to recognize. So there are no downsides to investing a few seconds into making this diagram on your notebooks or your piece of paper. Okay, now let's look at the reading passage. All right, I'm already done taking notes for the reading passage because it was very simple. Now, the topic for today's task for question is impression management. That's the topic. Now, what you need to do every time you read the task for reading passage is to find the definition of the given topic, okay? So this is my definition. Let me show you where I found it. Now, in the second line, you can see the word impression management, right? That's our topic. So what I want you guys to do is skim through the reading passage until you find the topic, okay? Now, once you find the topic, if the definition is in that sentence, great. If you don't need to paraphrase, awesome, fantastic. But sometimes you're gonna have to look at a following sentence or the previous sentence to find the hidden definition. And sometimes you're gonna need to paraphrase. I, I, I had to paraphrase for this question. Okay, so let's look at that line. They employ impression management to create positive images of themselves. So I'm guessing that they, the pronoun stands for people because animals don't use impression management. So here's the definition. Impression management, which people employ to create positive images of themselves. That's the definition. There are no grammar mistakes. There are no um, misunderstandings here. So I'm perfectly satisfied with what I have on the board. Now that we're done with getting the definition, we can just ignore the reading passage. That's the beauty of all, uh, that's the beauty of the task three and task four reading passages. Not every one of the sentences are important. If you know exactly what you're looking for, and if you know that you have found those parts, you're done with the reading passage. You can ignore everything else. All right, now that we're done with the reading passage, we should be able to say everything that I'm about to say without any difficulties, all right? Now let's pretend that the professor in this lecture gave us two examples. Now for that kind of situation, this is the sample response without the listings information, okay? In the lecture, the professor elaborated on a couple of different examples to explain the concept of impression management. To begin with, in addition to this, to sum up, these were two perfect examples of impression management, which people employed to create positive images of themselves, given by the professor in the lecture. All right, now, I don't know how many seconds that ate up, but I'm guessing it's a little bit more than 30, 30 seconds, okay? Maybe around 33, 34 seconds. So what I'm saying is for every task or question, as long as you're using my speaking template and using it correctly without any awkward moments, and once you're done reading the passage and taking notes, you should be able to spend uh, 35 or 33 seconds of the 60, 60 seconds of speaking time without any problems whatsoever, okay? All right, now that we're done with the passage, let's listen to the lecture. Listening. Listen to a lecture about the same topic and take notes. Now, I know most of you probably think that impression management doesn't play a major role in our lives. But if you think that, you're definitely wrong. As a matter of fact, we use impression management all the time, even if we aren't consciously aware of doing so. Here are some examples. Your class presentations begin next week, right? So what are you planning to wear to them? Surely not the clothes you're wearing now. If you showed up in a t-shirt, shorts, and uh, sandals, do you think I'd be impressed? Hardly. Instead, you're all likely to dress up in formal clothes like suits to try to impress me. Why? Well, you want me to take you seriously, so you're dressing the part. You're managing my impression of you. Let me give you a personal example. I had to give the dean a ride home one night. I knew I was going to have to do it, so the night before, I made sure to wash my car and threw out all the garbage in the back of my car. I even had a couple of classical music CDs in the car because I knew that's the kind of music the dean likes. Why did I do this? Just to make a good impression. Okay. 
Now I'd like to bring your attention to the whiteboard. Let's take a look at what I actually wrote down. Uh, the professor in the beginning part of the lecture said, let me give you some examples. That's plural. So as soon as I heard that, I knew right away that the professor would talk about two examples, which is why I wrote that in the little box right here. Okay, the first example, class presentations, not wear t-shirts or shorts because not impress professor. Instead, dress up in, dress up in means wear, dress up in suits to be taken seriously and manage impression. Okay, so let me summarize the first section. To begin with, during class presentations, most students will not wear t-shirts or shorts because they won't be able to impress the professor. Instead, they will dress up in suits to be taken seriously and to manage their impression. So that's the first example. All right, second example. Give the dean, you're gonna encounter the dean many times on your TOEFL adventure, so please memorize the word, the dean. Give the dean a ride home. So, night before, washed car and threw out garbage. The night before means last night, okay? It means the yesterday night or last night. Uh, threw out garbage. Because make a good impression. All right, let me summarize the second example. In addition to this, in the past, the professor had to give the dean a ride home. So the night before, she washed her car and threw out all of the garbage. Simply because the professor really wanted to make a good impression to the dean. Okay, now that we're done organizing the lecture's uh, information, we should be able to get a perfect grade. In the lecture, the professor elaborated on a couple of different examples to explain the concept of impression management. To begin with, during class presentations, most students will not wear t-shirts or shorts because they won't be able to impress the professor. Instead, these students will probably choose to dress up in suits in order to be taken seriously and to manage their impression. In addition to this, in the past, the professor had to give the dean a ride home. So the night before, she washed her car and threw out all of the garbage. This was mostly because the professor really wanted to make a good impression to the dean. To sum up, these were two perfect examples of impression management, which people employ to create positive images of themselves, given by the professor in the lecture. Thank you for your time and consideration. Okay, now, as I was taking notes for this lecture, I knew that I was deliberately overlooking a lot of information, a lot of the words that the professor said, which is why I spoke a little bit more steadily than I would have usually spoken, okay? Now, the parts that I skipped over are, the professor said t-shirts, shorts, or sandals, but I decided to ignore that altogether. Now, over here, she said that the professor washed her car throughout all the garbage, and even put some classical music CDs in her car. But since I, since I told myself, okay, that's a huge hassle to say, I don't feel like saying all that, I skipped it. Now, this is the way that I want every one of you guys to take notes, okay? Students who have great listening comprehension usually fall into a very terrible trap. Now, the trap is, is very sneaky, it's elusive because when you're good at listening and when you understand most of what the professor said in the lecture, naturally you're going you're gonna to want to say all of it, okay? Now, saying everything that the professor said in the lecture is mathematically impossible because you're given 60 seconds to speak while the professor speaks for more than 60 seconds during the lecture, okay? So, physically, <laughs> physically mathematically, statistically, it's impossible. Don't try it, okay? So when you're taking notes for the listening comprehension, now this is gonna be for every single person, whether you have excellent listening comprehension or whether you're just starting your TOEFL adventure. If you have great listening comprehension, you're gonna be able to say more sentences easily from the lecture, so take it easy, okay? Just pick the details that you don't feel, um, that you don't feel overwhelmed seeing, okay? That are easy to organize for you. That's all you need to do. Now, when you're, if, if you're a person who doesn't have good listening comprehension, then I'm just gonna tell you the truth. You gotta, you gotta practice more listening, okay? That's number one. And number two, when you get to the point uh, when you're understanding most of what the professor said, once again, pick and choose your information. 
pick the details that you feel comfortable seeing that are easy for you to organize, okay? All right, that just about wraps up today's video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the content. If you did, hit the, hit the thumbs up icon. Subscribe to the channel if you're a first time viewer. And if you think that anyone in your vicinity would benefit by watching the videos on my channel, please share the news, share the information. Tomorrow's video will be focusing on task five and the video after that will be focusing on task six. Now, um, in three days time, so three days later, the video that I upload is gonna be about TOEFL writing. It's gonna be about integrated writing. So if you're interested in that, please leave um, your feelings in the comment section below. And if by any chance you have any questions, please leave those in the comment section below as well. See you guys next time.